So this morning we've got a, a Honda BF100 VTEC and we're going to carry out a service on it. This is quite a new engine. It's the one with the serial number that starts BBMJ. This is a 1112766 and it weighs between 166 and 172 kilos. It's the BF100A. So there's another little another little thing to service on here and that's the the water fuel separator alarm sensor all right got that on there and that comes off on that bracket there's nothing else in there no um no filter or anything just a float switch it's held on on a little rubber bracket just there and you can pull it off uh, if they haven't been off in a while they do stick a little bit but this one's got the water sensor in as well so just a case of a firm and pull and you can get it off just being careful just reorientate the camera that there is a cable on the bottom so don't go pulling it out um, we'll slide this rubber bit off and then there's a retaining plate with three three screws that hold it on so I've got it up its holder which is just the same as the other filter that little rubber mount there and you can see there the cable that's in the bottom, so it's sitting like sitting like that. Now I've started just slacking off. There's one, two, three screws. Now that holds up that, that plate, that metal plate on, which holds the bowl. So I've started to slacken them off. We'll take all three out, and we should be able to slide the collar enough to drop this bowl on the bottom. So we'll just take all three out. We should be able to. Just pop that out. We've got a big O-ring, the top cap, which we'll put in there. So that's it taken apart now. There is no filter in this. This is, um, this is the, the fuel sensor. So when you get water in with your fuel, it lifts. There's a little float inside because of the difference in the uh, density. It lifts and the alarm goes off. Um, Pretty simple, it gives you an indication to have an, uh, water in your fuel. So that's that's how you would empty it, if needs be. You can see there the little black float there. Obviously refitting is the same. If you were doing this as a, um, for any reason, obviously you can change the o-ring on there. This is just a demonstration to show you how to empty it. So then put the top collar, top, put the, this white piece back in, sits in there, and then just refit it, and then the three screws go in, and then back into the holder. So here we are on the reinstallation here. There's not really a, an orientation for these screws, they're just all three are the same, so we'll just start each one up. And that's the, the fuel water sensor drained. So there we go, that's that uh, that water sensor back on. A little bit of fiddly job that, but that's how you empty it.